Hello everyone and in this video I'm gonna uh, show you how to install 4D Seam Agent, Windows Agent on Windows operating system because so many people requested and asked me that uh, how we can install um, Windows Agent because previously I had installed uh, Windows Agent on 4D Seam I think 5.2 but now I've installed a new version of a 4 sim that one is 6.2, uh, the new version. And some part of the 4 sim has changed, but still uh, the Windows agent is the same. So um, the process is the same as the document. So you can follow the document on 4 sim website, but I'm gonna show you something like um, this one here. So if you go under support for .com, you should have a username and password uh, for this one. And uh, you can see that there is version two, version three, and version four. I guess version, yeah, version four is for uh, March, 2021. So this one is, um, I think is like a, log agent and this one is the windows agent pdf so um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna download the version 3 because this one maybe 3.3 .3, yeah it has 32 bit and 64 bit um agent so i'm gonna install this one so you can download this one like here and then Oh, yes. I'm going to create uh, the cut this one, bring it to desktop folder, uh, create a folder like here. Um, call it for the same agent. And then paste it here, extract it here. So the file Windows agent is. Um, here is a 64 bit and should have i think xml file uh yeah it's here 3.1.2 uh, windows agent so that's the xml file that i had so the xml file is like this so you should enter uh, your id your organization and the um, IP address of your 40 sim, the port and username that you have defined under uh, 40 sim. So, uh, this one, let me show you that. If you go under 40 sim and um, actually CMDB should be and users, you can see here there is user. So if you go under on group, you can create a new user and call this one the same as your file. So my XML file here, uh, the username is agent and the password, uh, you can create any password here, right? So I, I'm gonna create this one agent and uh, this one um, the manager normal and the full name is not important so you can click on this one look here there is an option for agent admin you should mark this one and put your password here um, the same as the document that you have All right Okay, uh, it doesn't accept this password. It should be one lowercase. Okay, I am. I'm gonna do it like this. Um, um, like this. Okay, and then save my password. That's some agent that I have. So. I'm gonna 
uh, edit this one the same as um, the password that I have entered in the document then uh, the next step is like this you just double click on this agent uh, it will ask you okay it seems that I have another agent let me, let me do something else first of all um, control panel remove the previous one for the same it should be for the same agent um, because previously I have installed a version 3.1 so for the same yeah this one for the same agent I'm gonna on it All right, perfect. Then I'm gonna install this this one again. This new version. By the way, this this machine's IP address is 27. You can see the IP address here. And um, so after this step. I failed to register for the same agent to super. Maybe uh, this information is not correct. Oh yeah, this IP address is 248. I made a mistake. This one. And try one more time. It's now successful. So if I go under services, I should see this one. Sorry, this one. Um, Accelerate Ops Windows Agent should be running. So that's running. That's good. And then you should go under your CMDB. So CMDB, and you should see this. Uh, this one, student, um, the IP address. So I haven't assigned any IP addresses to so the version of the agent is 3.3. And then the next step is going under Windows agent and create a new template. So call your template my Windows template. And I just um, Click on some options like ISDHCP. I don't have ISDHCP, maybe security logs. I want to have a security logs and system logs, application logs. Oops, uh, so sources all and user behavior analytics. This is the new option. Uh, we didn't have this one in version 5 but uh, it's um, user behavior analytics so uh, so you, you need this one for the you need a license for this one i think i don't have a license but i'm gonna check later that i have a license for this one or not and user logs so which um, one do you want to log so i just and the file directory that you want to look, I just want to look at which folder, um, maybe uh, this folder, maybe is, is, is in the desktop. Look at this one. And that's a sample. You can uh, put any folder. Um, and that one includes a subfolder, yeah, and all files. So that's all file by default. Yes, and anyone change these uh, registry, these options, or anyone tries to use the removable devices or install software and notify me. And if you have a WMI, you can um, watch my previous video, I think. 
um, I talk about the WMI classes that you can add here and PowerShell script also as well. So then, um, which one I think is, is not correct. Uh, name cannot contain a space. Oh, the, the first one, this one. It cannot contain a space, so should be Windows template. And then you have created your own Windows template. After you have created the Windows template, you should assign it to your, um, what's that, uh, to your Windows machine. So I have here Windows 10, and then you can select your host. So student, yeah, that one. E, the IP address is 27. I'm sure that I have selected the right one. So the template I created in previous step it was Windows template. And you have a collector. You should have at least one collector. Uh, then you mark collector. Be sure that your collector is healthy. And the trick is that the in previous video, maybe I didn't mention, um, after you have created your template and created your host machine, you should hit this one, apply um, the, apply this um, template to the, your Windows machine. So if you don't press this one, um, it doesn't work. And then you can come back to this under CMDB. So you can see uh, now this one is still is uh, under 27. So I can see some, maybe some log later. I just give some time. And I can change this one to status because the status is now pending, so you can change it to approved. So now it's approved. And look here, the agent is running inactive. It means that and this one, uh, the Windows machine, is sending logs to Forisim. So how can I understand the logs is coming to Forisim? This is a very um, important part of installation. So your um, agent status from register should be changed to running inactive. And then uh, you can go on the real time event and look at the real time event that's coming maybe 15 minutes ago. Is it any during logs? No logs. So I'm gonna create some logs. Like um, I create some folders, uh, like some files here, and then delete these files. Let's see that. Do we have logs? Or oh, this one is 27. Maybe I search it like this. Um, 15 minutes ago, um, I don't have logs. So I'm going to try to, because the registry file is the best option that we can do. I go to control panel. And what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to uninstall one of these um, programs here like this one uh, the genus 3 version 2 so let's see because this one it will change the um, registry keys so um, then yeah look now it will tell me that someone, some Windows file deleted. Oh, that's that's for the um, file that I have created. This file is created. And look at the others. That's directory. So that, that one is for this directory that I have created for this one. Sorry. 
or the directory that I have created here and the file that I created and deleted. So like if I create a PowerPoint file, call it that one Hamid, and then I remove this file inside this folder because I've already defined this folder. Then probably I have logs related to this file. So logs has a delay. So then you can um, trace related logs like directory and the other stuff. So I think um, that's the idea um, that I repeated this, I recorded this one because some guys ask me a lot of questions that please um, uh, explain a step by step. So this one now explain um, step by step. So I think now you got the idea how to install Windows Agent and um, to be sure that you should you should have a license. So I have only two agent I can install uh, for a user behavior also I have a license I can use that one. Um, so be sure that you have a license, be sure that your collector, your collector I think is uh, here, yeah, should, it should be healthy, it should be AMP um, to do the other stuff. Otherwise, you may not um, receive the same result as me. I hope this has been informative for you guys and thanks for watching.